Whoa, hi. Today I'm so blessed to be here. Are you blessed? We're gonna take a look into the Koala Sampler, an app for iOS. I found this thing pretty amazing and it's very user friendly. I seem to like it a lot and I've been using it lately at cafes to jam a little. It has a lot of functions and I won't go into all of them into detail, but I'll do a brief overview of its main functions and what I like about it. So let's just explore a little the main interface. Here we're in edit mode, but if not, we just have this in which we can record a sound in the built-in microphone. I mainly use my my headphone set with a microphone so I get a little be better quality and we can just add effects to our voice in real time and probably we can connect an external microphone, never tried it and I'm not sure about that but we have three main pages first is sample where we choose our samples and we load them up I already did that work previously and I liked using the application splice in my phone so I ha can get them very fast into the sampler. You could compare this to an SP404 but way cheaper and in your phone so that's why I think it's very convenient if you've never used it before. We have four different banks for samples which I have almost all of them full. In the first one I have mainly some one shots, drums, and a little some pads and transitions. In my second bank, I have more percussion, some drum loops. It can be a percussion loop. More transitions and more single sounds. Then I have some guitar loops. Nobody else can do and it. some vocal chops and some drum loops so I can jump start jamming pretty fast with this so let's explore then we have our sequence mode where we were earlier jamming to our song this was a jam I did earlier and we go switching between loops to get this variation So the loop will start over um, in the next bar, so if you want to change you have to do it before the loop ends. That's very handy. Let's go to an empty bank of sequencer and try to do something from scratch. I'm just gonna jam, so don't be mean. Uh, but before that, I just want to show you a little more options here. We can use uh, resample our song and record it. We can also sync with Poker Operator for performance, which I found it very amazing. Also, an import video. I have no idea what is that, what that's for, but it sounds great. Adding media to this, and yes, so let's go into our jam back to our jam. Let's try starting with a kick. Okay, so we're 90 BPM, very good for a beat. Let's try to get some cool kick. I like the round. Nothing here. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, let's just, we have a metronome, we can tap tempo and choose our own tempo here. But I'm just going to stick with 90 and it'll count just two. We are in four bars of measurement, but we can change it. I'm going to stick with four bars also and let's see what pops up. Well, let's start in the next one. I guess this is a hi-hat, let me see. This is a hi-hat, let's do this. So 
so I don't have a metronome there. Wait, wait, let's start again. We can keep adding. The quantization of this is amazing. I can't believe like how, how well it aligns it to the grid. So let's try to use another hi-hat to make it a little more variable. So we're starting to get something, I'm not sure, but let's just go with the flow. I love just going with the flow of the moment. We just have to keep on adding drums. Let's see what happens if we add this percussion. I love being experimental too. So in edit mode, we can actually stretch it to fit our bars, which I think is like such an amazing tool. Let's see if it actually fits our bars. Amazing. I'll record it one. Two. So we won't hear until the next bar, so I'll just reset. We're starting to get a vibe. I like it. Let's try it out a little bit more. I like this kind of like this. 808 tom you could say and just use a chromatic keyboard to pitch it up and I'll play a little see what comes out Let's start again just random stuff I'm, I don't know what I'm doing but it sounds great Now I'll just, for the sake of this video, go into the bass because I don't want to make it too long. So before I had a whole loop here, which actually is a, like an arpeggiator, and, but I only picked up one note of this. I won't do it all over again because the you got to be very precise with your finger to just pick this part of the sound. But then I go into chromatic mode and I just start using it like a keyboard. See here. And a bass. But I would love if it's more bassy so I can filter this sound. It starts to look more like a DAW. D A W. octaves and then do it like a chromatic rise very simple but we get to the point one two a little count two well let's start again Well, it's not perfect, but you still get the point, and it's that human error, so I'll just keep it and keep going with other things. I have a guitar loop. I just like the first part of this. So let's see what tools we have here. We can label, which I guess it's like giving a name, normalize, trim silence, chop split stems, a bunch of stuff, but I mainly 
would love adding effect to this. Actually, I think we cannot add effect to a single a sample, which that would be lovely if they can add it in future updates, or maybe it's already there and I just don't know, and maybe if I just hold the reverb, let me check. Maybe, but I think this will affect the entire thing. So it's there, but I think it's not recording uh, this sound. But anyway, I'll just add this this particular thing that we are in the root. I think it's in the scale. Let's try. It. You see, it's affecting the whole thing, so I won't use it. Yeah, it's just in the scale. I don't even know what this scale is, but it seems like like a uh, word is with the <laughs> so it seems like uh, I don't know we have a good luck today well that sucks and it seems like I actually recorded and I'm not sure there's an undo tool here. Oh yeah, is it? there is. Let me see. Thank God. So I'll just keep the first note. I thought there was no undo tool, but the good thing would be to copy it so we can start creating more variations on top of this. Great thing, undo. Like what people are talking about of the OP1 missing the undo feature. So you can also copy it before so you don't mess it up. That sounds great. So let's just see what else we can add. I'll go into vocal chops. I love this. Let's see. Let's see if I have some chord which maybe can fit in here. Okay, so it's just like a normal triad rising thing. So what if I it's what if I stretch it? Let's see if it fits our sequence without recording. not doing it in the part with which I'd like to, but let's see if I unstretch it. Yeah. Well, it, it works without stretching it, so let's record too. Let's add a riser for the sake of it. So any part we want to just build that tension, we can just use our riser sequence here. And go back to our normal. 
So that's about our jam. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you liked it or not, uh, just give me a comment saying what you thought about the video. See you next time.